take your seat and to share our third success story we have with us a senior scientist from the Indonesia Palm Crops Research Institute, Dr. Henki Novarianto. So I'd like to encourage our speakers, please be conscious of the timer in front of you. Thank you, Ms. Karen. <coughs> Distinguished delegate, especially for children or farmer here, good morning. This morning, I will talk about the coconut palm. This is the content of my paper. And in Indonesia, we have three point six million hectares of coconut and the important thing ninety eight percent belong to small holder the question why coconut farmer poor and now, coconut industry limited raw material. You see, they have low income. They only produce copra or hazelnut, desiccated, no other product. Because they poor, so they not maintenance the plantation of the coconut, then the productivity is decreased. So in the future, we, we hope in some success story, uh, the mutuality beneficial small holder coconut and the industry will be sustainability of coconut uh, industry. This is, you know, in coconut, we say a tree of life, any kind of product we can produce if coconut farmer can produce value-added high economy product and cooperate with coconut industry, we believe coconut farmer not need to be poor. APCC or Asian Pacific and coconut community analyzed in the last year that coconut product market extremely uh, positive. You see for coconut sugar in increase export to America mainly, coir product India and Sri Lanka, Fisio Philippines, the price for in Manila 4,000 until 6,000 metric ton. And the popular one now is coconut water for drinking, the health drinking, now very popular in America. Brazil and Thailand is export mainly. Last but not least, the coconut milk is increased too. So many kind of coconut product is increased now. This is the situation of our coconut farmer in Indonesia, poor and low price. We replanting, but because we have small budget, our government focus to food crop, then every year only 10% can replanting the coconut. Although from our institute research in Manado, North Sulawesi, we have produced several variety of high-yielding coconut. This is one area in Riau, in tidal area, swampy area, near uh, Batam. They transport from the canal like this. Many coconut industry now in Indonesia limited raw material. Why? You see, 
in Riau, in Riau Island, by boat, they export to Malaysia, Thailand, China, the Hasnat. From some place like Palu, Sulawesi, Central Sulawesi, they export in container like this. This is one company in Hainan, China. One of their important product from coconut, why they import more coconut from Indonesia and Vietnam? Because they produce, we say, cocoa milk. In their advertise, they say, cocoa milk is good not only for men become strong, but also for women become more beautiful. So drink cocoa milk. Now I want to uh, spend some story about the cocoa sugar, cocoa fiber, TCON, integrated coconut industry. First, cocoa sugar. In Indonesia, cocoa sugar, we use culinary beverages, mostly in our ketchup, the sweet sauce, uh, soy sauce. You know, every year we produce 300 thousand uh, ton per year of, of cocoa sugar. But now the production increase because the palm become tall and the young climber dislike to climb the tall coconut. But in economy, the cocoa sugar price five times than copra, all you sell has not. The cocoa sugar, they take the sap from this inflorescence, like this. If the husband climb the coconut, the wife or housewife cooking to become sugar. So they cooperate. Every people can climb 30 to 40 palm and they must climb or tapping every morning and in the afternoon, two times a day. You see, you see I say decrease because young men now dislike to walk in climber coconut. They are cooking like this. Each family can produce 20 to 30 kg uh, cocoa sugar. This morning, one point in by Madam Senator Cynthia that in Philippines, coconut farmer is the poorest, only 50 pesos per day. I believe if you produce cocoa sugar, you can increase 10 times, maybe 500 pesos or up, I hope. One big industry in Indonesia they trying to distribute the short uh, variety, we call dwarf variety. So they uh, cooperate with the community to produce cocoa sugar for supply, the raw material for the ketchup. Then from our institute, we help them to distribute the uh, dwarf variety. The second, I will fast for fiber. Uh, fiber, one industry, they uh, cooperate with uh, coconut farmer in three provinces. Then they produce, they can produce 400 until 500 cocoa fiber. And now, because they success, they multiply to the 12 location another. They have a rule for cocoa fiber, what the obligation, the benefit, cocoa farmer, until government as a facilitator like this. And this the, like this, this the agreement from them. And this the industry. The third for virgin coconut oil, virgin VCO is the, is the same. They can produce increase because the, the market is increased too. Then the important thing for VCO, the the company 
Pala Mustika, they cooperate with the housewife. So I think that's good for gender, like this. This is in uh, West Sumatra. The last but not least, Sambu Group Experience. This is the big uh, coconut industry in uh, Riau. Mr. T. Johanna is the founder for Pulau Sambu. Now they cooperate with 400,000 uh, household in Riau. They have system like this. You can see, then this is the industry. And they product, they say, kara. Kara is paint for kelapa rakyat. People, coconut. Because now coconut become popular for export the product. Some of the private sector established the coconut day planting the coconut for nucleus and they have plant plasma for the coconut farmer. My conclusion like this and thank you very much for your attention.